So I guess you're looking for the easiest way to create animated titles and captions like you see here down below. If so, then you're in the right place because in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this using a tool called Descript. Chances are you've seen videos with these captions across social media from the likes of Grant Cardone, from Alex Hormozzi, and tons of others. So I have recorded a video that we're gonna use as an example so that I can show you exactly how to create these videos. And again, we're gonna be using Descript for this tutorial. So if you wanna check it out and download it for yourself, the link is down in the description. Once we open up Descript, we're going to create a new project. Then the next step will be to add your video that you want to edit. And you can simply click and drag your video and it will automatically start transcribing. One of the great things about Descript is that it's based off of transcriptions. So the words that come up on the screen, you can see and edit those as if you were editing a Word document or a Google Doc. Also, if you have multiple speakers, you can select how many, and you can also import a name for each speaker. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually edit the video using the transcription. So let's play it now. This is a sample video that I am recording to show you how you can add animated captions to your social media. So in this video, I messed up a couple times before I even got started and had a good take. And so all I have to do is click and drag the section that I don't want and hit delete. And the video was edited according to that, starting with my good take. This is a sample video that I am recording to show you how you can create animated titles. Um, so that is the good take, uh, removing some of the times where I had messed up at the beginning. Um, but we can see here in our transcription, we have these underlined words, which are filler words. And if you right click on that, you can click the remove filler words. And we'll give all the examples of filler words inside of our video. And we can even play them back to hear it through, but we already know we want to remove you know and um in our video. So we're just going to hit apply. Like, um, and so I wanted to record that just for the sake of this video, but for the actual finished video that we use, I don't actually want this part in it. So we're just going to cut that out. So now the next thing that we want to do is create the vertical video format, uh, which can be found up here in the three dots under video settings. And we want to select portrait. So with the portrait mode, what that's gonna do is create a nine by 16 aspect ratio for social media content. This is for Reels, for YouTube Shorts, and for TikToks. So now we can take our landscape or horizontal video and convert that into vertical video with just one click. And then I'm also gonna stretch this out so it fills the full frame. And boom, there we have it there. This is a sample video that I am recording to show you. Perfect. Next, let's go ahead and add our captions. So to do that, what you wanna do is highlight all of the sections that you want captions. We're gonna come up to the title tab and then hit captions. And boom, the captions are down here for us. I'm just gonna move these to the center of the frame. And then we can adjust the captions over here on the right sidebar. So for these captions, I usually like to select the karaoke style. That will kind of follow along with the active word that you're speaking. And you can see that it's pulled up here. We have active word um, in the background for, for that. So we can stylize these in the way that we want. We also have a way to stylize just the text in general. So we can do all sorts of colors. I'm gonna stick with white and also add a border. How you can create animated titles in your video. And so there you can see we have some animated titles. These can be styled in a number of different ways, but just wanna show you how they work. Next thing we can do is add a progress bar. So we come up to that little shape tab, add a progress bar. We can click and drag that into place. We can even change the color of the bar. Let's also 
make it match our text. As you can see, the animated captions are right here. And it's automatically timed up. Emojis with a progress bar, your, no. title text, and much more. All for and if you wanted to add a title as well, you can come up to the title tab and type in what our title, what the title of the video is. Perfect. So we're need we're gonna need to adjust the size of this. And let's also do maybe a background. Spread it out a little bit. Perfect. So now we're going to be adding some emojis to our captions. So the easiest way to do that is actually to edit the captions, the little fancy captions and correct them but adding in some emojis so to bring up an emoji keyboard on the mac i'm going to hit Control command spacebar and it will bring up the emoji character viewer and on our video i'm going to correct the word video with video so if i want to do that i can hit space after that and type in video to search for an emoji and then I'll hit correct. Sample video that I am recording. And you can see it added it to our text to show you how you can create animated titles in your videos. As you can see, the animated captions are right here. And if I want to do, as you can see, I'm gonna correct that, add the eyes emoji. <laughs> and correct that videos. As you can see, the animated captions are right here, but you can also add emojis. And if I wanna add an emoji after emojis and correct that, I'll just do a little smiley face. Emojis, a progress bar, title text, and much more, all formatted for social media. If I want to do after social media, I can do a phone. Social media. Let me show you how to do this inside of Descript. And just like that, we can add emojis to our transcriptions. Now, if you do want to add emojis in a separate area of the screen, we can do that as well. Simple way is to just do a title. Again, bring up our emojis tab and we can edit them there. What this will require you to do is to edit each one of the emoji lengths inside of the timeline. That's why I prefer to do it inside of the captions because they'll go away. The timing is already matched up, but it can be done. It just takes a little bit more time if you want to do it separately outside of your captions. So now we've got a title for our video. We've got the animated captions, the progress bar. So now that we've edited our video and added all of the extra effects, it's now time to export. To export, we're simply going to go to the publish tab. And one of the great things about Descript as well is that there's multiple ways to export your file. So you can export it just as a video, an audio clip, a GIF, you can also export it as a timeline for Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, Pro Tools, Logic Pro. You can also export the transcript as a Word document file or a PDF. And you can also export the subtitles to be uploaded for another video or when you're uploading to YouTube. For this one, we're just going to export it as a video in 4K with the quality high, and sure we'll include the extra metadata. So we're just gonna hit export and save. Just like that, our video is ready for posting on all the social media platforms.
Now there are a ton of other features inside of Descript. If you wanna check those out, I have made a full playlist of videos and tutorials showing you just how you can use Descript in your content creation process. Make sure you check out the playlist, hit the thumbs up button if you found this video helpful, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're reminded of every time that I post a new video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.